Hey family. What's up, people? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hey family. Welcome back to K and Lexi. What's up, guys? It's welcome, the welcome back. quarantine edition episode, episode eight. eight. Yes. So today I've decided to wear red as you can see because our topic is red flags. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Yeah, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> uh, the reason we decided on this one was um, we noticed that sometimes people find themselves in um, relationships that are not suited or maybe even toxic. Yeah, they wonder how they got there not acknowledging that um, they intentionally or otherwise ignored the red flags mm, so that were there in the beginning that were there, yes. yeah. so we decided to address some of the red flags that we've gone through in our previous relationships yes. here. and um, I think it's very important for one to lay out all your expectations that you have from a person that you're going to be romantically involved with Mm -hmm. and then um, define them to yourself first and mm -hmm. then when you get into the relationship you discuss them with your partner and see if the both of you can work around them mm -hmm. and um, but yeah. in, in a way that you're not even compromising yes. yourself or he's yes. not compromising himself you yeah. just find a, yeah, a common ground, a common ground on how you're yeah. gonna work around yeah. both your um, yeah. expectations yeah. with regards to your relationship you know like when you are in this relationship you kind of know how you want to be treated and how you would love your to treat your person as well mm. but you kind of like okay let me compromise but mm. maybe this is a little bit too much for him and, and which is upsetting. which is definitely not if you yeah. are in with the right partner yeah we are in no way um experts we've only been married for a year we, we've been together for four years We've been officially married for one, but um, we did the whole uh, love all our process like three years ago. Four yeah. years Four ago. Years ago. <laughs> yes, red flags. Yes, I'm going to talk about mine as a female, yeah. the red flags that I I decided to avoid <laughs> mm. with my in my previous relationships. Okay, are we, are we only considering the previous one relationship or all the relationships that you've had? Well, now you can talk about all the relationships. <laughs> okay, that I only had. had one previous relationship. Yes, I only had like guys. I was a dog cop. Okay, okay. I was like seventeen, I was, eighteen, twenty-four. I was, I'm not sure. I was, I was a dog cop. Like I was one of those girls that people would say I hey, went out slow. So yeah, that was me. I I've only had like a. So all of, all of the ones you're gonna mention are coming from one relationship. Yes. Oh, yeah, that guy really told you. I did the number on you? No. No. He told you a lot. <laughs> No, but yes, he taught me a lot, and I think okay. I've also taught him a lot. <sighs> the first one, it's trust issues. There would be a whole lot of stories, guys, about this guy. When I started moving to Pretoria, he would get insecure. He would call me to check, like consistently call me, he would call me and check me. Who are you with? What are you doing? But I was calling you. Why didn't you pick up your phone early? He's not even nice to me anymore. He's just mm -hmm. making demands. And I'm supposed to like report okay. as if, you know. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. My first one would be angry outbursts and um, saying of hurtful words that, yeah, that you can't take back. Yeah? Mm. What I mean by that is this is coming from experience with maybe my friends if you are in a relationship with somebody that you don't necessarily appreciate it's it's rather easy to to say something that yeah is going to hurt the person because it's a spare of the moment thing né? after that there is this expectation that um you should you should just forget about it if i apologize then you should mm. be okay uh we say yes so if, if you say something that's hurtful to somebody and then there's this expectation that 
okay, you know it's because I was angry at the time, so mm. you should be cool, and, you should be okay see, about it. Yes, and they say like when you are in your emotions or when you are in, angry, that's mm. when you mean, that's when, yeah, your, that's when you your mind true. is yeah. able to express how it yeah. has been feeling and that verbally is, now. And, that's, that's, and that's, that's partly who you are. If, if, if I were to be angry and then verbally abuse you and expect you to just be okay if I apologize mm -hmm. and then if you keep forgiving me and forgiving me I get accustomed to that and at a later stage I might just do something more than just abuse you verbally and then I will also have an expectation that ah but you know must I get angry but, but it you're has, it has, about it has, your own it has, personal yeah, this, this, this has happened to me as well and get into details too much yes. but but that's a red flag that i chose to ignore mm -hmm. uh, when the relationship started like early stages of the relationship mm -hmm. so and i yeah. me and you have been together for four years now mm. that's like practically how long we've been with mm. our yeah, previous, previous partners yes. and i don't remember you raising your voice on me yeah. or i don't think i've ever uh, said anything hurtful to you that's the, or, thing. <laughs> yes. that's the thing it, it becomes it becomes easier to be considerate when you are with the person that you, uh, that respects you it, it mm. becomes easier for you to uh, reciprocate the respect the controlling behavior you know when you've been in a relationship for so long um especially for me because it was like my first serious relationship where like everything in me was involved in the relationship he was now acting like my husband <laughs> and i also <laughs> got to a point of where i remember you know what um last days I, I would tell him no i'm not your wife stop treating me like this and i think also he realized for a while we we've been in a messed up relationship like we forgot that we are girlfriend and boyfriend now i'm also i i have my my demands that i, I want from alexa and they are it's okay for me to want those and we forget that there's no family involved my family and yours have never met and there was no any mm. form of commitment happening in our relationship for us to feel like i owe you my life and you owe me your life okay don't get emotional yeah we are, we are going on and on <laughs> yeah, no. okay. like, my second one is secrets mm. yeah. um it's it's common knowledge that uh secrets don't stay secrets forever like at some some point it's going to come out and when it does it causes damage because sometimes we keep secrets uh, i could maybe keep a secret thinking that i'm protecting you like if you found out about this say somebody maybe slid into my dms and then i'm like okay i can handle this like nothing's going to come of it this this i've experienced even in our current relationship mm. i'll just say that out, out straight um so secrets don't stay secrets forever they come out so whatever it is you should be as open as you can as possible with your partner if you find a secret that person was hiding it from you then it should be and strike one strike two secrets. yeah then mm. they're not going to change mm. they're, they're not going they to change are. it's who they are they're going to keep secrets from you and it's going to cause damage if not to your relationship then to you as the other party so if there's a secret then it's a red flag that's mm. for you do not ignore it yes guys at, at any no point in your life you should find yourself you being yourself making it's making other people uncomfortable okay. it does that make sense if you are if you're powerful then be powerful they should accept you for who you are yes okay um my, my 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 third one is um realizing that me be, being fully myself around this person makes him uncomfortable and sometimes really agitated okay. this is uh, my manchi knows i love taking pictures i love taking selfies i love certain cuisines and i love exploring i'm a very adventurous person and um uh with my previous relationship i couldn't be any of those i couldn't take selfies I couldn't take I, selfies. No, 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 no. <laughs> guys, are I you couldn't. Are you How are you in that relationship for five years? <laughs> guys, I couldn't take selfies. I couldn't ask him to take a picture with me. If it, if I was to ask him to take a picture with me, he had to be in a very happy mood, and um, 
before we even dated he knew that i i was also into modeling and everything else so i you know when a person you, you start in your relationship they will sell you dreams but mm -hmm. eventually when you get into the relationship you get yeah, to see who to the person yeah. really is yeah. so for me i realized oh, oh, I told, this guy he knew this is like part of me and I, I, guys i'll be looking all cute and i would want to take a self he'd be driving and i would be mm -hmm. like he'd be like no man alex he would get angry and sometimes he would come pick me up you know i'm a lady and if we if we're gonna go out on a date um let me look the part at least and if i'm 15 minutes you you waited at the gate for me for 15 minutes that should be mm -hmm. fine if i come <laughs> looking gorgeous you should be like Manchi, you <laughs> tolerate that but my love. <laughs> If if she is if she is always late, is that a red flag? <laughs> that is a topic for her because because even now this video <laughs> to start shooting this video she was late. So so tell us in the in the description below in the comments section below if if she's always late if it's a red flag. And my person would so be like, I can oh, maybe you look beautiful, my love. I can see why we are late. You know, at least he mm. he 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 appreciates the effort. Failure to open up. Uh, lack of communication kills any relationship it doesn't matter mm -hmm. between parents and children between siblings oh, especially husband. especially if it's a romantic relationship and you're planning to build something with this person mm -hmm. there needs to be communication you need to talk you need to open up if if this person you cannot be vulnerable in front of then they're probably not the right person for you to be with mm -hmm. if when you open up and then issues arise then yeah then you should you shouldn't be in that relationship because it's just going to be two people in two separate relationships but then pretend as if you are in one relationship and that is what i'm going to say about that it's choosing to believe what they tell you than believing what you know and what you see okay does that make sense that trust your gut and trust your instinct it will never lead you astray trust me that's all i'm gonna say about this one okay if if you're not introduced or there is no plan at all to introduce you to the family and you just meeting the friends so you go to the groove with the friends ah, then you should know hurry yeah if you suggest it, maybe, you suggest it now that you talk about that maybe like in my previous relationship like there was from the get-go there wasn't that really like i see a future with this girl yeah. if the guy does not uh, introduce you to his family if if he has no intention of introducing you to his family yeah you will meet you will meet the friends but with guys i've been there friends will be uh, covering up for for the guy or in this case let me say my friends will be covering up for me knowing that i have a side chick or whatever and i'm not that serious with you mm -hmm. but when you come around they will treat you as if you are the main Most you important. are the queen mm -hmm. yeah everybody is like oh yeah no it's that one yeah mm -hmm. going out of their way to please you saying all the nice things that mm -hmm. i've mentioned and mm -hmm. yeah you will feel like you are the main the last one is wishful thinking um it's um having hope that things would change and being stuck in oh maybe he's just uh, like he's still learning who i am and he will eventually come through for me and um, he just don't want to make peace with the fact that this is just who this person really is he's and you way. yes and he's not making any effort to to meet your expectations in any form um you are so stuck that you even feel like whoever is gonna try to convince you otherwise they're not making sense to you but at the back of your mind you know Hore, you know what i've been trying for so long but things are not are not happening yes things are not really working out see things for what they are and you can never change a person you can never change a person a like person will change for you a person will it. change for you if you're worth it and mm. they'll, they'll 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 do whatever it takes to make you happy and to keep you happy i mean mm. my person i never told him that i, I love breakfast in bed he did it 
from the first time I, me I and you. <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, he did it. He, he did it for the first time that I had my sleepover. And um, he's consistently at it years later. Yeah. He knows that makes me happy. So he, he's keeping at it because he knows that that's what makes me happy. So a person who go out of their way to see a smile on your face and to see the beam in your eyes. The beam in your eyes is the most one because a smile you can fake it. But your eyes will tell if you are really happy or not. So yes. please. My last one is um, failure to support your dreams and aspirations. I think this is the biggest one for me mm. because um, if you are if you are looking to build something with someone, if you're looking to build a life with a person, then yeah, you, you should be able to share all your your dreams, your thoughts, your aspirations, whatever you hope for with them, and then you should be you should be able to rely on their support if if you have dreams of being a photographer <laughs> then your person should be the model without question mm. Ta -da. Mm. yeah but and this is the, the a thing that you just discovered discovered lately yeah no but no no I'm, 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 from from my previous relationship i would say maybe um you should start saving up maybe for now on like this mm. is an example because mm -hmm. yeah it's my it's my serious, wish yeah, yeah. I was serious, I was serious and you should be like no but now i still want to live my life first mm -hmm. and i'm like i thought but this this i thought this was life so I, i'm living life but when are you still having fun and then there's still life after this so mm -hmm. you don't see us being together in that life of yours that you still want to live mm -hmm. so it just shows that we are on different timelines and yeah, we can't really build anything. She's not supportive of what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and yeah. and yeah, with that, um, we've come to the end of this episode. We just thought of this. Uh, mm. These are the things that we think about when we are stuck in, inside, we're stuck indoors, and yeah, it's, it's like we we we. <laughs> We often talk about like our first relationship and we laugh and I'm like, hey, imagine, you know, like so when we first met, like I, I'd be so, I'd get so scared and like it'd be so anxious, like thinking that you're going to shout at me when I do this and that because this is what was happening. So like we laugh about our past experiences and we're like, yo, you know, so it's very important if you're in a healthy relationship, you should be able to talk about anything without getting mm. anxious without feeling an amount of Yo, what if it's going to make him uncomfortable mm. or what if uh, i'm going to step on his toe you know yeah. anything should just come effortlessly naturally in a healthy relationship don't force anything please if 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 you are in a relationship that has all of those that we yeah. we, we, we talked Delicious. about um, please reconsider. Mm. It's not healthy yeah. for anyone. Listen, we, we, we said this is not professional advice. We're mm. not saying go we and know dump, go and dump your person or whatnot. But mm. what we said was, if if you take anything away from this, it should be that if if the person is the right person for you, then they are going to change to suit you. Mm. They are going to make you happy, and it's going to be effortless for them to try and make you happy. Mm. And you're going to see it. It's going to be genuine. It's not going to be somebody who's maybe it throwing be, yes. money at a problem. And mm. yeah, but it, it should be effortless. You men should love you like Christ loved the church. Yeah, and your woman should respect you like Christ respected the church. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, Christ <laughs> respected the Christ is the church. Yes. Okay. We will see you in the next video. Yes. Uh, we, uh, so, so uh, guys, don't don't, yes. don't ever find yeah. yourself. Um this this there's this video that I'm I'm gonna mention Bumi that she posted about I'm knowing your worth. Know your worth and mm. don't compromise on it whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, guys, I could go yeah, on out. and on. Cheers. <laughs> My she is hitting. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Wait. And cut. <laughs> Wait. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. Also, please tell us your experiences with your past relationship. Even for those that are married now, mention your own red flags, and then if you can relate, also just 
comment below and tell us your own personal experiences or mm. if you can relate to what we manchi and i have talked about okay. and um and if you haven't already subscribe if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and then comment and mm. share yes Thank you so much guys. Can you see that today I I respected you guys so much. I even have a date. I did not get the <laughs> name of Kat. <laughs> and um this is quarantine edition. Yeah? Episode 8. Okay, that was awkward for me. Okay, let's start. Okay.